Alrighty guys, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, when we last left off, uh, some wild and wet sea shark races. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, it says I got two missions available with Michael. What the hell is this? Not for me, that's for sure. I have no idea where these two missions are. Let me, uh, what's this? Stranger and Freaks? That's all I got? I don't even know if that's for me. No, oh, let's take this piece of shit. Don't even get out of the driveway, and I already wrecked the car. The Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor son bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Love your ride, hon. Okay, hold off. We probably got something else. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Thought we did. Oh, there we go. And it wants me to change to him. Freak seeks, why do I gotta become Trevor? I thought it's a bad thing. Trevor's pretty awesome. Oh, he's already at the warehouse. By the looks of it. Sweet. Great. Shitting behind the Sweet. dumpster. Jesus. Oh, oh freak sakes. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Hmm. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God! Asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you, you I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, hmm. Devin Weston? Is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You! Fucking Trevor's the meet? best. Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, Pop. What are we doing here, huh? This! Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. No, no, you're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the ass whites at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, oh yeah. that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. <laughs> oh shit. It's Caesar's oh. place, round the corner from your house. Why are we stopped? Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be yeah. right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Huh. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the <sighs> FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either yeah. you've been working with us before... Oh, hey, before the cash depot job... I like how Buddy just shuts up as I get in the accident. One of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot Told job, you Brad went down, down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. <laughs> Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place, baby, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way well. that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Oh, <laughs> silence. Huh? Hey, you want a coffee? Pick Turns a weapon. Out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Ooh. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. I get the torture guy. I oh. get the torture guy. Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. Come on, we haven't broken him yet. Oh, we'll go to the wire cutters. Let me mind it, please don't. I just have the blazer. And I'm a dentist. The make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What did you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. 
He lives in Chumash, the right on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Was it just about a tooth and the guy gave up the guy's name? That was easy. Chumash, you're driving. I'm probably going to have to torture that guy. Terror more. does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> oh, the car's mint again. This guy's got a good body, man. All right, let's go and let's go and take care of this problem. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Well, yeah, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed. Hey! Than they needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about huh. Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... Well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? Now what? This'll do. Alright. Find out who Holy we're looking for. Holy shit. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. Um. He don't look loose to me. Let's, this will uh... put air on your chest. Not the clip. Not the clip. No, no. I will die. Please! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Come on! What does he look uh, like? Funny. I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sake. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No. They all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Son of a bitch. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah, sorry, too oh. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Oh. Ah, we'll go with the big, big monkey wrench. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. Come on. 
knee shot. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to check his memory again? No, 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 he's got beer, he's got pussy beer. Uh-huh, I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not, no. Yeah? I'm telling the truth. Pushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informants and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Anybody with a beard? Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day. Give us some intel on our okay, I'm making this guy drink gas. He's, he's Fuck it. Beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. What if you get it wrong? I was wrong! Ow! Torture! <laughs> My mouth! <laughs> Always by the book. That's my mouth. <laughs> Oh, it's water, it's not gas. I am a genuine government man. It's all in your head, Ferdinand. Don't worry. Let's wait for this to calm down a bit. That's not calming down. Fuck it. Just drown him out. I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Look at that, we're gonna hit 190 beats for a minute. This guy's gonna go in cardiac arrest. Always by the book. That's my mind. Yep, he comes. I'm alive. I'm alive. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work. Yeah, buddy. Interview. Now, I got a rap uh, ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on. Please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> Let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. 
Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Then what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, I don't get to kill him? <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. All right. Okay, safety first. I bet Trevor's still driving his jalopy. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old Dude, life. Really that's over now. You're off talk. the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm oh, taking shit. you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't yeah. have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have yes. told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer! Or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're <laughs> prepared to pay. <laughs> I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. <laughs> oh, Trevor. You're one classy fella. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Fucking taxi. <clears throat> me. Ugh. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Yeah. And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. And that ends that mission. So there you go, people. I have 100% of that mission right on. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that episode of Skaven Games where we tortured the fuck out of a guy. And uh, stay tuned for more. Click that like button. And until next time, peace the frig out.